Hello everybody. So I just got some Zen music on the computer and just trying to make it really relaxing, really welcoming. Aziz should be home within the next 30 minutes to an hour. Oh gosh, I'm shaking. I don't know why I'm shaking. Um, but I was thinking today, well I've been thinking the last few days a lot about the surgery and skin loss and let me just sit you guys down here. <laughs> I feel like I'm shaking so bad. So, um, just thinking about um, what if my skin hangs or is loose and I read an article that said drinking a lot of water will help your skin to tighten up a little bit. So, I've been trying to do all the water I should. I'm not going so good. Oh my god, I keep shaking. What is... Oh my god, I'm so sorry if the camera's shaking so bad. I don't know why my hands are shaking. Um, so that just got me thinking about, you know, my face and my skin problems and everything. And obviously I'm taking the shot, but what else can I do? So I decided I'm going to look at some tinted moisturizers and possibly just a little bit of concealer. Um, I want to try and start straying away from makeup as much as possible. I will still have to wear some kind of lip gloss and some eyeliner because apparently when I don't wear eyeliner I look really mad or really sick and I just feel like blah. But eyeliner just it just makes my eyes pop and and yeah even if I wore like just my white eyeshadow too just stuff that's really really light not so heavy even though I don't feel like I wear heavy makeup really anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of wanting to go more towards a natural look versus makeup at all. Like, if I could wear no makeup, that would be cool for right now. Um, I don't know if it's just the way I'm feeling, like just getting older type of thing and just not really feeling makeup anymore, or if it's just the summer. And I usually don't wear a lot of makeup in the summer unless I'm going out or something. But uh, here now, since we don't have air conditioner, I mean, there's really no point in wearing it because I just sweat it off like five minutes later. So that's one thing. So next week I'm hoping, hoping to go ahead and buy some products and try it out and see how I like it. Um, we are going to have salad and some mango drinks tonight and I'm going to cut him up some watermelon. He said he just wanted a really light dinner. I asked him if he wanted chicken. He's like, no, just make your salad. He loves my salad. My salads are amazing. Let's be real. They are amazing. Um, so we're going to have that for dinner. I'm about to go outside, check the mail, clean out the car. I just want to get everything clean and, and just nice, you know. I do have to clean our baseboards and our vents soon. And, like, you guys can't really tell. I mean, they look all right from here on the camera. But, uh, and these are, it's just the ones over the vents get dustier a lot faster, obviously. But, um... I was thinking about that the other day too. I was like, how can people live in such a huge house, huge house, and clean their baseboards? Like that just I remember my grandma doing it and they they only have like a nine hundred something square foot house, you know? So it wasn't too too big. But still, like, I'm on my knees, twenty seven years old, doing all the baseboards and I've gotta stop and take breaks. You know, I'm like, I will never have a big house because I do not want to clean so many baseboards. <laughs> that is just ridiculous. So, that's actually, that's it. I might try to get him to take a walk later. I don't know if YouTube will let me have it going with the music. Um, but, last night, he made me so frustrated. We were having like a good time, good conversations. We were playing good together. We were both in good moods. But he come home and he slept for almost four hours. Which, granted, keep in mind, he gets home at like 3.30, almost 4 o'clock now. And, you know, I was like, no, can't have that. And last time I took him to the emergency room, I didn't vlog about it, I don't think. Um, but the doctor, um, she mentioned, like, making a schedule. And so I brought it up because I wanted him to know it's not just me nagging him. It's, it's the truth. And so she was like, yeah, you know, you need to... Um, not lay down when you get home. She's like, it's okay to rest, but sit on the couch and do something. Don't lay down on the couch or nothing like that. So, last night, after he sleeps almost four hours and I'm like bored to death, uh, he tells me, oh yeah, I talked to a guy at work. I was like, oh really, about what? And he was like, well, he always works so good and so nice and he always comes in and, and just looks, you know, like, um, I don't know the word he used, but basically like refreshed and rejuvenated and ready to go, uh, energized. And 
he said he asked him about it and he's like what time do you go to sleep and the guy said oh I go to sleep at 8 and then he starts work at like 4 I think and I told Aziz I was like yeah that's what I've been telling you all along ever since you got this job and I told him I said your problem is you come home and you sleep three four five hours you're up for an hour and then you can't sleep because you've already slept you know a good amount of hours and then you feel like crap the next day and I, I told her I, I told him I said that's what I've told you that's what the doctor told you and I told him you need to come home take your shower drink your tea have dinner and do your computer time and then go on a walk with me or you know whenever the times that we do have gas to spare you know we can drive to a park or go walk around the mall or Walmart or something and I said then by the time 8 o'clock comes you're so tired from working all day and doing things that you go to bed and you sleep the whole night and you still get a good what seven eight hours of sleep and I was like that's normal that's pretty much what everybody does so where's your head <laughs> so hopefully I told him last night after he told me that I was like okay so tomorrow you're coming home and you're not sleeping like we're gonna do stuff right and he's like yeah, yeah yeah I come home I make nice with you and I love I love his English still he's like I make nice with you and and we do something and yeah then I go to bed at 8 which is fine with me because typically I'm in the bed by 8 or 9 myself just you know getting online or playing games on Facebook or talking to friends or something like that till about I want to say 10 o'clock then I'm watching videos trying to fall asleep like I talked about I think the other day so um, we are definitely not stay up late people at all but I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna go clean the car yeah. no AC in the house no AC in the car I can't win for losing people. It is so hot. I'm counting this as exercise because I'm already sweating. Yes, cleaning out the car. <laughs> well, there is his nice, healthy dinner. I am going to make myself a salad later. Right now, I am just way too hot to eat, but I am going to make a mango drink. Yeah, that's, that's it. I hope he likes it. I know it's like a lot of watermelon, but when I cut the end off, I thought it was actually like not as, not a lot of watermelon. So then I cut like another sliver and I was like, oh crap. But he'll snack on it through the night, I'm sure. Hey guys, so I decided to come outside and hang out. Um, Aziz promised me he'd go walk in with me when the sun goes down. So I'm just waiting for that. But. It just seems like nothing's going right today. I don't have cilantro, and I was really wanting to make salsa for my dinner. Like, really bad. So, I think I'm probably going to have to go to the farmer's market tomorrow and see if they have any. Hopefully it's cheap. Um, because I didn't pick any up when I went to the grocery. So, that sucks. Um, as well as, what else? Oh, I wanted to tell you guys, today, what I ate... Um, and I'll show you pictures this morning I woke up and it was like three hours and then I was hungry so I made this chicken from Aldi it's like um the sweet and sour chicken so I put like that with a little bit of cheese and some spinach on this bread that I got and I forgot to show you guys it's whole wheat with flaxseed flatbread it's still not the lowest carbs but I figured it's got flaxseed and it's whole wheat so it's got to be somewhat healthy. So I had two of those and actually I was full after one um, but I, I went ahead and ate both of them. I probably should have stopped but I was like oh I just want to I just want to eat them both like I was just I, I just felt so hungry even though I was full but then I didn't have any lunch so it's that those two wraps have been holding me all day till now now I'm starting to get hungry and Aziz had a salad he wanted something light but I still feel like a salad is just kind of like eh. I really want salsa but I don't have a way to get cilantro right now so um, I just decided to come outside for a little bit um, he's napping and I still need to make tea, so I just feel like nothing's going right. I can't have my salsa. I can't have my tea right now. He's napping. I've been bored all day out of my mind. So I just decided to come out here and sit and 
uh, got my computer with me. I'm gonna edit a couple of vlogs and just call it a day. So yes, I'm finished for the day. I think I'm gonna wrap up today's vlog. Um, if anything happens, I'll film it and include it with tomorrow's vlog, but I doubt it will. I think we're just gonna hang out and I don't even know if we're gonna take a walk or not. It's starting to feel good, so we probably might, but I don't know. Another thing I want to talk to you guys real quick, this is probably TMI, but I'm sharing everything on my process, you know, whatever. Um, I feel like I'm losing weight in my boobs. And that's a good thing because I know my boobs are mostly fat, but it still feels weird. Like this, the top part, let me zoom out so you can see, the top part all along here, like you can see it, like look, that's, my bra is just getting too big. And it isn't just this one, it's all the bras. So. I'm excited. I just wish I could lose weight in my stomach or my butt or my legs or arms. You know, like, I wish kind of like my boobs would be like the last thing to go. But I've heard, like, if any of you guys have lost weight or had the any of the gastric surgeries, uh, how did your boobs do? Like, were they the first to go or what? Because I've heard from a lot of women that they lose boob weight really fast, like crazy fast. So it's been, what? like a month and a couple of weeks that I've been trying to lose weight now, so it's kind of weird that it's it's happening there first, but well, as long as it happens, I guess. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace.